Ooh. May the falling star moon as well. Bren Esports definitely wants to go all in in this fight. And now Blacklist International locking up that Lolita. Really nice counter pick to the damage of that clip. Yeah, we'll be able to damage with the Clint, but pretty much it's just going to be the Clint. Start or will end after this game and number three between Brenny Sports and Blacklist International. Let's enter the land of dawn. And as you said, aggressiveness will be the game for Brenny Sports. Look at Joy Boy. Ginugulo lang talaga si Wise. Yeah. He's going to do everything he can to reduce the life of Wise. Delay his farm a little bit somewhat. Give information where Wise is. That's going to be Lithuander going on the side of Blacklist. And so far, uninterrupt, uninterrupted stacks for, Oma, for Wise. And I feel like this uh, Lolita pick, no? as you said, clip lang naman talaga ang babawasan niya ng damage. But I feel like this is more of an equalizer in terms of early to mid-game power. Para lang ma-prevent ang pwedeng power spike ng Bren Esports here as we see Wise trying to get his stacks early on. As you said earlier, Renmar, mabilis mag-stack to si Wise. Aabot kaya to no. sa first turtle? Or do you think turtles will be in the hands of Bren Esports similar to game 1 and 2? Well, I'm sure Wise will check the jungle of Bren Esports, yung Ursa. Oh yeah, there he is. Um, he's going to the crab coin to check in on Rock Ursa. Yeah, he'll get it. And then now, he'll have time to go to the turtle still. There is information from the side of Blacklist where the roaming 5 and 4 are. Matakita dun, si Wise. Pero makakatakas naman siya dito. Yeah, at makakasapak pa ng isa kay Joy Boy. That's some free damage there. And now, Vina still playing that position 5. Now, this time around, we'll be playing that Lolita. Look at this. Saksa goes dashing in, dashing out. And the Thorn Rose doesn't actually land. A fragile execution gets a first blood. And looks like Turtle will be controlled once again by Bren Esports. Matapos, mapabagsak ang Queen. Good positioning here for Dominic. But Joy Boy and Few, di nila if force yung pag nakaw doon sa purple buff. Turtle also not yet started for Bren Esports. Wala pang purple buff doon si Saki Jago, so he had to go for that. So may chance Blacklist International oh. mag-contest dito. Black Shoes saves the life of Mr. Archangel or kay Few. At mukhang Bren na nga ang magsisimula. Turtle, Joy Boy, medyo delikado ang kanyang pwesto. Two people on the side of Blacklist International. Mukhang ibibigay nila ang Turtle na to considering na medyo malayo si Wise. Gonna go for the Lethal Wanderer instead. The few third plating in the mid lane or energy shield. Kanina pinag-usapan ko yung mga heroes on the side of Blacklist International na sobrang daming pwede nakawa ng shield ni Granzu. Alternatively, let's go back at the Lolita pick. The Lolita can set up really well, paired up with the burst damage coming in from a Kagura. Matagal-tagal din yung isang stun ng hammer ni Lolita. That first skill, once you can get that stun up, can last really long. Just hit one target and Haji for sure will throw something there. Or a member of Blacklist International will throw something there. At the same time, yung mga slow na pinoprovide ng Luminon Blast could be set up for Haji and for the rest for Blacklist International again. So even though they're oh, up here against comes Esmeralda, Contact Case, this one is going to be able to see Pew. Circling Eagle will stun up a wise a little bit, but hindi yun not that para to hook this. And here comes the stun on Granzu. The 3v3, Saksa Jago enters the fight. Wala pa naman Thorn Throws. Guiding Wind para makalapit ng konti. That's the reset of Thorn Throws. Palabas, no, palabas with the Phantom Execution. And now Brenny Sports is attacking the sense of damage. Wala na ang first damage na nagagaling si Pew. It's the Lancelot at babagsak siya sa blue. That's two kills going to the hands of Blackness International. All five man collapse instead of pushing the lane. Sabi ni Dominic, Saling ako dyan, I'ma help you out. We secure the kill there on to Saksa. Here comes Joy Boy at Medivh. Oh, Joy Boy, look, looks like they're going for the queen here. Oh! Pero nagtago lang sa Ogda Boy. Restore the fire's memory. That's the third kill for Blacklist International. Mukhang maganda ang early game ng Blacklist. Nakakasabay sa power spike ng Bren Esports. Again, the stuns coming in from the Lolita. The shield can block damage as well. You're blocking a good amount of da damage coming in from the Wisps of the Matilda. So, 
Despite all, everything I said about the Esmeralda going up against the side of Blacklist International, Blacklist International has a lot of great tools to provide space for their back line. Oh no, Bren Esports, they actually get the queen this time around. They're looking for Venus. One more shot could seal the deal, but here Weiss. comes Wise, and they don't get the queen. In fact, they even lose Here comes the queen on Blacklist. can't even go near anymore. Grand Tsunaba ang sunod. It's a 2v1, pero nice guy they win. Galing dito by Joy Boy. And now Turtle will be secured by Blacklist International. The great escape from the queen. Kala na nga na, like, uh, same thing as you. I thought that would be it for Oh My Venus. But then, Oh My Venus able to get away. Nakatakas pa siya. At ang mga miyembro ng Blacklist International naka-respond. Dominic at saka si Wise nakasali sa laban. One kill there for Wise already. What a rotation, what a response. Galing sa Blacklist International. Man, Blacklist International, they were in the receiving end of plays, pero nakukontra nila mga plays na nagagaling sa Bren Esports. And kudos to Bren Esports, of course. Alam nila yung power spike nila. Alam nila na kailangan sila yung nagiging agresibo sa ganitong oras. Pero dahil sa mga slight micro errors na nakikita natin, ay Blacklist International ang mga nanalo sa mga fights na yun. Let's see if they will continue to become aggressive. They're gonna go for the XP lane instead. Here comes the contract to the state. Isaksa Anta Target cancelled with the Thor Dross. Si Granzo na ata ang sunod. As Grand Granzo Boy pa rin pero nasa pagkaiwain. Si Kang Saksa Jago with the kill. At lupang makakampak pa ng konti dito. Nice exit with the Phantom Execution at buhay ang mga miyembro ng Bren Esports. Was that a 2v3? 2v4? Ended up becoming a 1v4 trade. Nakuha ng second kill dun si Wise. There he is. Look at that! Two versus four. Why the escape of the kill? But now at least na kabaw ito ng Bren Esports. Again, this is why the signature Aldus. As much as we say mid game, late game, you need stacks, you need time for the Aldus. So brong bilis magform. Ni why the Aldus? Tas na siguro ng stacks nito sa kanan ng damage eh. Ang tawo jan ay ang nag-iisang early game Aldus. Only one in the world. Uh -oh. <laughs> Twice lang yun. But here comes a 3v1. Saksa Jago just emptying his clip there. Naubos lahat na abilities pero nakatakas siya. Bren Esports, sinusubukan nila makaharap ng opening. They might just be able to with Matilda on their side. One misposition by Blacklist. One great entry by Joy Boy. One good response by Bren Esports. Makahanap sila ng butas. Two. Turn this game around. Good for first plate. Na pick up na dito ni Granzo should help with the tankiness of the Esmeralda. Pero Turtle na naman napunta sa side ng Blacklist International. They have a gold lead. They have the tower lead. And the same problem ah, Radiant Armor na pulut na dito ni Wise. So that's already Dreadnought Armor, Radiant Armor, tasa Thunderbelt on that Aldos. That's gonna be less damage coming in from the Lilia and the Esmeralda. Most of the damage he'll be receiving will be physical if Saksa and Kevs can land the damage. Here comes a circling ego from Bren Esports. They're trying to get the queen once again. Ow, throwing the part memory. Gonna take down the Captain Pew. And that's one person down for the side of Bren Esports. Granzu cancels out the falling star moon. At mukhang Bren Esports ay napabagsak na naman. 0-3 CQ in this game. Grabe, umabot pa talaga yung Torn Apart Memory doon ni Aul. Another good opportunity there for Bren Esports. They tried to make an opening, pero nakita natin the quick draw, full burst, blocked by the shield of the Lolita. Kung nabawasan lang na unti doon ni Kevs, or at least if that quick draw combo landed, could have been a good subtraction doon sa buhay ng Blacklist International. Could have been a chance for Bren Esports to win that fight, but the block coming in just in time for Oh My Venus. Oh no, few in trouble. The stun won't land coming in from Blacklist International, but that was a close call para kay Few. Uh, that would have forced out the black shoes. Few had that up, but then yeah, could have been really, really bad. At least black shoes forced out there. But Haji, Winter, uh, Winter Truncheon, Lightning Truncheon. Picking up here, so Bren Esports have to watch their spacing in team fights. Kung maseta pa ng Blacklist International dito ang Bren, that's gonna be a big opening for Haji, for that Kagura to just deal some crazy amounts of burst damage onto Bren Esports. 
Brendo, though, of course, not giving up. Still trying to find an opening. Still trying to keep themselves in this game. Keep it close. 3k gold lead for Blacklist International. 4 to 1 in towers. 10 minutes in. No torn apart memory ang hindi tatapos sa kanya. Luminon Blast hindi tatama sa isa lang. Team Hero has no. oh, another kill for Blacklist International. Babagsak na naman si Kapitan. 0-4-0. Alam mo, ang ganda ng pwestuhan ng Bren at Blacklist na akala mo minsan hindi tatama pero biglang tatama pa rin pala. Then, the abilities are unreal. Dominic committing everything para ma-zone out ang mga membro ng Bren Esports. Hindi makalapit si Saksa. Hindi nila mananakaw yung Lord. Conceal play para sa blacklist. Conceal play na naman. Galing dito sa Queen. And Queen is still alive actually. 200 HP. Falling Star Moon. At hindi na naman siya babagsak sa ultimate o sa torn apart memory. Ang daming close call para sa Bren Esports. And ito yung mga tipo na papasalamat ka na lang muna kay Lord. Kasi nabuhay ka pa ulit. Oh, but at this point, this is getting out of hand na para sa Bren Esports. They don't have that terrifying late game scaling that Blacklist International has. At this point, it's Blacklist's time to take control of the game, potentially end it. Hindi naman sa impossible na manalo dito ang Bren Esports, but it will be very, very difficult for Bren Esports to win this match. Dahil sa lineup structure nila going up against Aldous, having to go up against a Brody, the Kagura as well, that's a great amount of burst damage. It's a good well-rounded lineup. Bren Esports, let's see if they can hold on. Tignan natin kung paano sila mga comeback dito. Yeah, Lord already down and this is good for Bren Esports. They're trying to defend against a five-man strong Blacklist International. Nagahanap sila ng possible opportunity at nahanap nila si Wallis. Bumagsak na ang inhibitor dito sa top lane. Balik tayo doon sa bot lane, please! Nandito na nga! Two-man stun, ganun yun to Blacklist International. Para kay Hau! One person down for each side. Torn apart memory! Babos na naman sa nga si Joy Boy. Killing spree para sa Blacklist International gold laner na si Hau. Yun yung torn apart memory na hindi inter barangay eh, inter island yun eh. Yung torn apart memory galing sa Luzon, sa Luzon umabot pa sa Mindanao. Ang layo ng torn layo? apart memory na yung pag lock in. Granzo going down. Oh my god. Kasi si Joy Boy ata yung na-take down ng ano, torn apart memory nun, di ba? Oh, si Joy Boy yung natamaan ng noong torn apart memory. Nakala mo nga buhay na ulit siya. Kasi tatlong beses na natin nakikita na bitin ng isang stack palagi. Pero sabi ni Owl, alam mo, sige, natuto na ako. Konting pasensya pa. And that was perfectly executed, no? Ito na nga, bot lane, mid-stake forces the black shoes. Bagsak ang inhibitor turret, mid-stake na lang ang natitira para sa Bren Esports. Gusto pa ba nilang nabanan to? Look at the damage coming in from the clit. Mukhang online na nga ang clit si Kebsu dito. Blacklist International, very low HP. They need to recall and regenerate. And Bren Esports, this is breathing time for them. A little bit of breathing room for Bren. 8k gold lead for Blacklist. Bren still holding on. One mistake from Blacklist International. One counter engage from Bren Esports. They might be able to get a pick off. They'll be able to get a few plays, maybe three plays back to back. Na mananalo sila ng skirmish. At least get one kill, two kills. Slowly grind and build themselves back up into finding momentum in this game. That's how we'll find Brent Esports win. Ngayon, knowing Blacklist International, the lineup they have, the lead that they have, malabo na makahanap ng isang malaking play. Sabi natin, four kills, baka wipe out para sa Brent Esports to completely turn the game around. This is gonna be a slow grind for the battle of momentum again if that is how Brent Esports will be able to come back here. Patience is the name of the game uh -oh. for Brenny Sports. Pero sabi ni Wise, uh -oh. wala nang magihintay in Taipa. Here comes a contact chase with War. Uh -oh. Biglang bumagsak yung clip. Kinuha ang two punch lang. Biglang nawala. Dalawa na rin ang miyembro na bumabagsak sa Brenny Sports. Wala na atang magagawa without the damage. Pero hindi. Brenny Sports. Hindi pa rin susuko. Sa 5v3. Sabi nila, de-defensa namin tong base namin kahit anong mangyari. Joy Boy, Grand Susaksa against a five-man unit from Blacklist International. Here comes the engage. Venus, looking for one. Saksa Jango, nakapasok sa backline. Control CJ with the Puncture Boy pa rin. Makakapag-reset ng content, pero ang face ay bumabagsak na. Blacklist International will secure the two-point victory.
Blacklist Victory! International wins the Battle of Titans, the Battle of World Champions. And Blacklist advance to the upper bracket, sending Bren Esports down to the lower. Sobrang malupit na series to close things out, to close out this amazing day. Grabe yung mga nakita natin from the players and the teams all throughout. Again, I'll be more than proud to call any of these teams, my Seabolt team. Blacklist International winning this series against Bren Esports. A great showing by Blacklist.